Okay, so let's start things off for example one. So we're going to start by putting our index finger at the second fret on the fourth string, and we're going to pick the fourth, third, and second strings with a down, down, up. We're then going to pick the third string with an up, and then the fourth string with a down. So that bar will sound like this. We're going to finish things off in the second bar for this chord, picking the third, second, and third strings with a down, up, up. So let's have a listen to bars one and two. Now the good news here is, is once you've gotten used to that picking pattern, that's what you're going to be doing then for the next six bars. And uh, when we get to the bar after that, we're going to just mix it up a little bit for the uh, change in pattern. So the next chord, we're going to put our first finger at second fret on the fifth string, and then the third finger at the fourth fret on the fourth string. Interestingly enough, this is the beginning chord from Metallica's Fade to Black. So you can go and have a listen to that little pattern that they do there with this chord. It sounds really good. So again, same pattern. So we'll just have a look at this a couple of times so you can see and hear what that looks like. Now it's very easy to do the next part because all we do is take the same fretted shape and move that across a semitone. So you'll be in the third position, third fret and fifth fret. And we will again be using the open third string with this. So let's have a look at that. And in fact, doing that again, this time moving a whole step over. So we'll be in the fifth position. So fifth fret with the index, and that's on the fifth string, third fret, sorry, third finger at the seventh fret on the fourth string. So these are basically power chord shapes with an open third string added. Let's have a look at that. Mm -hmm. 